pessoal. Bem-vindos ao STEM32 Innovation Live. Thank you, Natalie. We are so excited about the STEM32 WBA because it makes working on a secure Bluetooth application vastly more accessible. But that's not all. The STEM32 WBA announcement for today. Let me talk to you about two new solutions. A software package to help companies adopt matter and a new STM32 WB module with a unique capability. If you are not familiar with it yet, Matter is an initiative from the Connectivity Standard Alliance, which includes Amazon, Apple, Google, Samsung, ST, and more. In a nutshell, Matter uses IPv6 technologies to make each device worldwide addressable on a 2.4 GHz mesh network using Thread or Wi-Fi. Thanks to Matter, the products in my home and yours will be able to talk to each other, regardless of the vendor or the platform that manages them. How? Matter makes sure devices are compatible with one another. That's why we are announcing today that the first version of the Xcube Matter software package is available for download. It includes a bridge application supporting Matter and Zigbee, and running on a STM32 7 for Matter and an STM32 WB for Zigbee. Moreover, since the application uses a traditional data model, developers can modify it to support nearly any protocol. Imagine the possibilities. Another unique feature of the ST solution is that it allows Matter development on Windows and Mac OS. Until now, when I or any of the developers in our community worked on a Matter application, we had to use Linux distribution. However, because Xcube Matter works with the ST M32 Cube ecosystem, I can now use any of the major operation systems. We know that some of you are still evaluating whether you will adopt Matter. It's not always an easy decision. That's why we are giving you the tools and code to create a bridge quickly, so you can arrive at the decision that will make sense for your operations. Our Matter software is here to help you figure out whether to work on the new protocols and how to start bringing Matter support to your market. The other announcement that we have in the STM32WB family of products is the arrival of the STM32WB1 MMC module, the second WB module we've ever made. The first one was the WB5 module, which includes an STM32WB55 MCU. Now, the WB1 uses STM32WB15 microcontroller to help those working on a simple Bluetooth LE application. Yes, we heard you. Many of you are working on a smaller system that requires less memory wanted a module that fits your needs with the WB1. We are delivering it. But that's not all. Module has the unique ability to support an antenna or an external antenna. Why? When using an internal antenna, the model comes with EMC certifications, FCC, CA, and ATEL, for products here in Brazil, and many others. It helps greatly reduce the time to market and lower certification costs. However, when I'm working on a smart window shading system, for example, I have to place the antenna outside the system to compensate for geometrical and metallic constraints. Previously, I would get a traditional STM32WB, which is full of reference towards the antenna. But now, I have a module that can fit my needs. We've heard from so many of you telling us that the module makes prototyping, manufacturing, and sourcing easier. For example, a module includes more than a dozen components that would have to be on the PCB if engineers used a regular STM32WB. Now, the WB1 allows you to use a module even if you must use an external antenna. So that is the best way to start working on a WB1 module our coming connectivity expansion board will include the new module as well as a motion and temperature sensors for Beacon and other IoT applications. The WB1 and its coming development board are also fully supported within the STM32 Cube ecosystems to facilitate developments. That's right, making wireless technologies more accessible and practical means meeting you where you are in your development journey. When many of you aren't sure if they will adopt Matter or where to begin, we bring you an application and software tools to get you started. And when you want to make the process of creating a Bluetooth application simpler, we bring you a new module that's more cost-effective and flexible. Making technology accessible is all about understanding our community and providing everyone with more intuitive ways to approach the technical challenges you face. And to do that, at the scale of the entire STEM32 family, let's talk to Tilling, 
who will share exciting news on the new STM32 Developer Zone and our new Cloud AI initiative. E por aqui é só, pessoal. Até mais!